गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी विल सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉटिंग एन इनपुट डिजिटल इमेज इट इज गिवन टू अस एंड फॉर दिस गिवन डिजिटल इनपुट इमेज वी हैव टू प्लॉट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द अन नॉर्मलाइज एंड नॉर्मलाइज हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट सो लेट अस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व फॉर द अन नॉर्मलाइज हिस्टोग्राम प्लॉट सो फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी लेट मी ड्रॉ आर टेबल हियर this side we will write the input gray level represented by rk and this side we will write its number of occurrence represented by nk Now, in order to plot the unnormalized histogram plot, we have to vary R k from zero to l minus one. So, for this, we have to compute the value of l. Since in this question number of bit it is not given to us, so we will target. So, in order to compute the value of l, we will target the maximum intensity value in this given digital input image. so the maximum intensity value in this given input digital image it is equals to 6 so we will write the maximum intensity value the maximum pixel intensity value it is equals to 6 now we will represent this decimal number 6 into binary format so decimal number 6 in its binary in its binary equivalent format can be represented like this 1 1 the minimum number of bits required to represent this decimal number 6 it is equals to 3 so n equals to 3 and we know the equation of l l is equals to 2 to the power n if n equals to 3 l equals to 2 to the power 3 that is equals to 8 rk we have to vary from 0 to l minus 1 since the value of l is equals to 8 so the value of l minus 1 is equals to 7 and hence we have to vary rk from 0 to 7 so let me write here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we will count the number of occurrence of each gray level first for the input gray level equals to 0 its corresponding number of occurrence in the given input image it is 1 2 3 4 4 so i will write here 4. for input gray level equals to 1 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 1 2 3 4 4 so i will write here 4 for in for input gray level equals to 2 corresponding number of occurrence it is 1 2 3 4 5 4 i will write here 5 next for input gray level equals to 3 next for input gray level equals to 3 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so i will write here 6 for input gray level equals to 4 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 1 2 3 so i will write here 3 for input gray level for input gray level equals to 5 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 2 1 2 so i will write here 2 for input gray level equals to 6 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 1 so i will write here 1 and for input gray level 7 since input gray level 7 it is not present in this given digital input image so we will write its number of occurrence it is equals to 0 after this we will count the total number of occurrence total number of occurrence represented by n in order to compute the total number of occurrence n we have to add all these numbers 
that is 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. If we add all these numbers, we will get the total number of occurrence, it is equals to 25. So this total number of occurrence that is equals to 25, we can verify it by counting the total number of pixels in this given digital input image. So for this given digital input image, the number of rows, the number of rows is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will write here 5. The number of columns, it is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will write here 5. So the total number of pixels, so the total number of pixels it is equals to number of rows multiplied with the number of column that is 5 multiplied with 5 it is equals to 25. Right. Next we will draw the unnormalized histogram plot and for unnormalized histogram plot Along x-axis, we will take rk and along y-axis, we will take its number of occurrence that is nk. rk, I have to vary from 0 to 7 that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and nk, I have to vary from 0 to 6. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, for input grey level 0, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4. For input grey level equals to 0, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4. So, we will mark it like this. Next, for input grey level equals to 1, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4. So, for input grey level equals to 1, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4. For input grey level equals to 2, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 5. For, in, for input grey level equals to 3, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 6. So we will represent like this. For input grey level equals to 3, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 6. For input grey level equals to 4, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 3. So for input grey level equals to 4, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 3. Next, for input grey level equals to 5, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 2. So, for input grey level equals to 5, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 2. For input grey level equals to 6, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 1. And for input grey level equals to 7, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 0. So for input grey level equals to 7, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 0, we will represent like this. Right? So now we have plotted, now we have drawn the unnormalized histogram plot. Next we have to draw the normalized histogram plot. So for normalized histogram plot, we have to compute the probability of occurrence of each grey level. So already we have computed, already we have determined the number of occurrence of each grey level. We have already determined the total number of occurrence. So the probability of occurrence of each grey level, it is represented by nk by n. For example, for grey level 0, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4. The total number of occurrence it is 25. So the probability of occurrence of grey level 0, it is 4 divided by 25, that is equals to up to two decimal place it is equals to 0 0.16 similarly for input grey level equals to 1 its corresponding number of occurrence it is 4 total number of occurrence it is 25 
So the probability of occurrence of ray level 1, it is 4 divided by 25, which is equal to 0 0.16. For input gray level equals to 2, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 5. Total number of occurrence it is 25. So the probability of occurrence of gray level 2, it is 5 divided by 25. It is equals to 0 0.20. For input gray level equals to 3, its number of occurrence it is 6. Total number of occurrence it is 25. So probability of occurrence of gray level 3, it is 6 divided by 25. It is equals to 0 0.24. For input gray level equals to 4, its corresponding number of occurrence it is 3, total number of occurrence it is 25, so probability of occurrence of gray level 4, it is 3 divided by 25, it is equals to 0 0.12. For input gray level equals to 5, its number of occurrence it is 2, total number of occurrence it is 25, so the probability of occurrence of gray level 5, it is 2 divided by 25, it is equals to 0.08 for gray level equals to 6 its number of occurrence it is 1 total number of occurrence it is 25 so probability of occurrence of gray level 6 it is 1 divided by 25 it is equals to 0.04 and for gray level equals to 7 its number of occurrence it is 0 whereas the total number of occurrence it is 25 so probability of occurrence of gray level 7, it is 0 divided by 25, it is equals to 0. Next we will plot the normalized histogram. For normalized histogram, along x-axis we will vary Rk and along y-axis we will vary the probability of occurrence that is Nk by N. Rk I have to vary from 0 to 7, so let me mark 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the probability of occurrence, I have to vary from 0 to 0 0.24. I will take the step size 0 0.04. Zero point zero eight, zero point one two, zero point one six, zero point two zero, zero point two four, zero point zero four, zero point zero eight, zero point one six, sorry, zero point one two. Zero point one six, zero point two zero. And it is 0 0.24. So next we will uh, do the plotting for input gray level equals to 0. Its correspond its probability of occurrence is 0 0.16. So input gray level equals to 0. Its probability of occurrence it is 0 0.16. So we will mark like this. For input gray level equals to 1, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0 0.16. So for input gray level equals to 1, its probability of occurrence it is 0 0.16. For input gray level equals to 2, its probability of occurrence it is 0 0.20. For input gray level equals to 3, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0 0.24. So for input gray level equals to 3, its probability of occurrence it is 0 0.24. For input gray level equals to 4, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0 0.12. So for input gray level equals to 4, its probability of occurrence it is 0 0.12. For input gray level equals to 5, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0 0.08. So for input gray level equals to 5, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0 0.08. 
for input gray level equals to 6 its probability of occurrence rate is 0 0.04 so for input gray level equals to 6 its corresponding probability of occurrence rate is 0 0.04 and for input gray level equals to 7, its corresponding probability of occurrence it is 0. So we will mark like this. It is 0 0.12. Okay. So now we have plotted. So now we have plotted the unnormalized and the normalized histogram plot for this given digital input image. And with this, this question is over. Thank you all.